In an almost random way, I came across what I call the Prodder Amori family of books. And it really is a family of books. Originally, I just bought this book because it was for analysis. Uh, and I've shown this book before, and I found it to be very useful. I read from it occasionally. Uh, it's a little too brief for my taste, but I'm, I'm beginning to understand why when you read in here, it, it turns out that Mr. Morey uh, da died, and Prodder is the one who had to do the, the, the update, the second edition. And so it's a very good book. Uh, it's got a great amount of content. If I go through the uh, table of contents, um, it's got your basic uh, analysis fair, uh, but it also has R to the N differentiation, R to the N integration. Relatively brief, a lot less content than weight I'm finding out, but still representative. Uh, but it also has a lot of additional content, some of which is found in Wade. Uh, so even like, for example, Jordan Regions are in this book. And the thing that I love about the book, which I think will make it very useful in the future, is not only does it explain things really well, it's got a ton of problems, and it's got answers in the back. So that's very useful. So when I was looking through it, I found this other book, also from Prada, Prada Amori, and I thought, oh, that must be the way it used to be called the analysis book, right? I thought that was that, that other analysis book. And so I started looking and I thought, well, we, I, I'd like to see what it looked like back in the old days before it got reshaped into a second edition. But I started looking through this book and I'm like, wait a minute, this is like a completely different book. Like, completely different. Um, so I started going through it and no, it is not an analysis book, but it's an advanced calculus book. Uh, and it's got a lot of stuff, like vector spaces, it's got linear algebra, uh, it's got a bunch of advanced topics, it's got things that are also uh, treated in the analysis book by Proto Amori, but uh, now at a lower level, but also like really well done, vector field theory, uh, it's got some differential equations, really good book. Now, of course, it's not the best copy, it's, it's got some writing somewhere, but I don't really care. Uh, lots of problems. Again, just like the analysis book, answers in the back, and really well explained, a boatload of problems, which I love. I love a, a calculus book that has many problems. Uh, now, of course, as, as I was reading and I started using it every now and then, uh, because I know it's happened to me in Wade for analysis, that there's some vector calculus that I'm a little rusty on, and so I'll go back and do a couple of problems in here, or read a few examples. And so this book is excellent. It's an old book. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember how much I paid. Maybe I paid 20 bucks for it. Uh, but then in this book, uh, Prater and Mary keep mentioning the first course. And they say, well, you know, this topic is, is also treated in the first course. And they mention in the, uh, in the beginning of the book, well, but you can also just use any calculus book. But because I like collecting, I did get the so-called first course. Uh, it's just a calculus book, uh, a very good one. And it's got a ton of content. This particular copy is brand new. Um, I don't need any more calculus books. The only reason why I bought this book is because now I have a trilogy of Prater Amori books that are a fairly comprehensive coverage of regular calculus, advanced calculus, and analysis. And I plan to use them as I go through the second cycle, past my, my reading. I know from how I did a number theory that I'll go on a hunt for problems and with some solutions. And sure enough, you know, all three books have answers in the back. Uh, Prater and Mary explain things really, really well. Obviously, they were teaching calculus courses at Berkeley and analysis courses for a long time, decades. Uh, so yeah, the books are excellent. But then, the funniest part is, in this book, they mention there's another book titled, The Second Course. And I'm like, I'm not getting that. I have enough Prada and Mori books. I'm done. But really, what, what looks like happened is Prada and Mori taught 
so many calculus books and so many analysis, uh, courses or, or, or analysis courses over the decades that they made a whole bunch of books that just fit that time. It's kind of sad because now looking back, it's not like Rudin, where you have baby Rudin, Papa Rudin, Grandma, Grandpa, not Grandma, Grandpa Rudin, and there are three books, a, a clear tri trilogy. It's almost like re reading Lord of the Rings. Uh, but in this case, I'm done. I'm not getting any more Prada or Mori books. But yeah, good stuff. Uh, very good stuff. The, the style is really nice. Very well explained, carefully explained. Lots of really good examples. Uh, lots of problems, some answers in the back. And between the two books, and this is why uh, having this pair of books is so nice, is this is what Prater and Mori considered a basic two years of calculus courses. And that's why they included some linear algebra and they included some advanced topics. So anyways, I'm glad that I have these books, but I'm done with this, uh, this cycle of books.